Let's see if you can guess what we're doing today. Today we're gonna be spraying our cornfield here with this massive drone to start spraying some of the drowned out spots where there's weeds out in the middle of the field. We got Bob with Midwest Drone Applications. He's starting to get everything ready. We're gonna get this drone up in the air. First little drowned out spot you can see we're standing on Bob's trailer here is right out there. He's just getting the drone up in the air to go start spraying it. There he goes. So what are we seeing on the controller here, Bob? So we can see. It's got a nice camera. You can see where it's yeah, at. A 4K camera. And then it's got a map. So like if I was doing the whole field, I could map out the whole field right on the remote mm -hmm. and be done with it. But we're just doing wet spots, so I'm manually flying you it. You can see it. Look at all the weeds. I'm trying to kill the weed bank before they all go to seed. So that way we don't have more weeds out there next year. You can see the drone start to spray. What are we putting down? About three three gallons an acre? Three gallons an acre. Yeah. Three gallons an acre on this portion. We got a couple other fields we're gonna have to go to. Just starting right here for today. Yeah, Ty's gonna land the drone right on top here. He's gonna fill in a little bit more chemical that we're gonna need to finish that off. So now you're just putting in the water? Yep, this is straight water. And um, then? Shows me how much I've put in on the remote. Okay. So I'm gonna put about two gallons in. Two gallons in there. Just finish this field. And then and we'll then, have to put the actual chemical in. Yep, then I'll dump chemical in since we're not doing a big field. So does it mix it inside there? Is it like an inductor? Or? The vibration and stuff, it just oh, kind of. mixes it enough? Yeah, it agitates it enough. All I haven't right. had any issues doing this, so. Okay. How big of a tank is on this thing? It's like... So this one's 10.8 gallons. 10.8 gallons. You can squeeze 11 into it if you try. Yeah. But yeah, it, they say 10.8, 40 liters. So now we're about to take off again? Yep. And then I can see where I was before, so I'm just gonna fill it in. Okay. First field's done, he's about to land it manually again here on the trailer. We'll get everything switched over, head on to the next one. He makes it look easy. You make it look easy. Down it a few times. Yeah. Now that we made it to the other field, you want to give us a little tour of what all these tanks, this massive <laughs> generator that looks like it should be at a school or something? Yeah, so it's a 20 kilowatt generator, uh, diesel. Um, I got it just because I put a lot of hours on generator. Yep. So, Because this is the generator you need for all the batteries. Yep, so the batteries, there's one laying under the drone there. One of the batteries right here. They require 10,000 watts to fast charge. Okay. So this generator is always at half capacity, and then I have an electric pump on it, and then some fans and stuff for the batteries. Right. And um, then all these chemical totes, just water? Yeah, so these two are just fresh water, and then this one I actually hot mix in. Oh, okay. So I can fill up to 265 gallons, which yep. is 130 acres. Um, then I don't have to fill as much downtime, Yep. mainly. Um, fill a drone every 10 gallons and keep going, so it's... It works pretty good for me. A lot of guys like the cones, but um, I like having the extra capacity and I don't have to call down off the top. Right, and if you're farther away from home or whatever, yeah. you got everything Yeah, and, and I ready. carry enough water for a whole day yep. um, at two gallons an acre, three gallons an acre. If I have a full day, I'll have to fill, but right. that's pretty rare. Here's the drone, DJI T50. T50, so that's oh. the newer one. The yep. Bigger one, right? Yep, I have a T50 and a T40. Okay. Um, the T50, I get about 45 acres an hour um, and a nice quarter 80. Mm -hmm. um, the T40 was about 35. So they made some improvements on turning around and stuff like that. And it only holds one battery, right? Yep, it holds one, one big battery. The battery will get you. It gets me about seven minutes of flight time. Seven minutes. Um, but as the tank runs empty, it gets a little more efficient. So I usually land at about forty percent after five right. minutes or so flying, spraying. Okay. You don't use the T forty no more? No, no, I don't. <laughs> I have about 
4,000 acres on T50 and 8,000 on T40. So yeah, stay pretty busy. Does stuff go wrong on it? Like, have you had to fix stuff or anything or not? Um, on this one, there's a loose connection right here. That's why this this foam piece isn't on oh, okay. there. But um, other than that, the T40, flawless. I didn't have any issues with the T. This one's been here and there, but it's been pretty good. I mean, I'm a dealer, so I have parts. Yeah, it's no big deal. So if somebody crashes them, you're the guy to call. Yeah, pretty much. I got one sitting in my shed. A guy just ran into a couple pine trees. With, <laughs> so um, probably not cheap either. Uh, I think his bill will be about three thousand. I mean, not too bad farm equipment wise. Right. But yeah. But how much is this thing? That radar is no, like the whole bolts. drone. Oh, thirty-four thousand. Thirty-four thousand package. Yeah. That's drone. Drone. Four, three batteries. Three batteries. A charger. Charger. And then, um, a uh, FAA package. Okay. Yep. And one other thing. So this obviously liquid tank. Yep. But then also I'm guessing that package dry tank. Yep. And, yeah, that package includes yep. a dry tank. There takes five minutes to swap out. You take a couple hoses off on the side and then there's one electric connection and pulls right out. Yep. You're swapped over in about five minutes. Okay. Um, How'd you learn how to do it all? I don't know. Self-taught. Really? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I mean, no video game. Video games? Yeah, video games paid off finally, yeah. I tell my dad. I thought you were going to say enough like YouTube videos to watch. No, no video games. I mean, any drone remote's like a Xbox controller. So. That's fair. <laughs> you're moving it up there to fill it? Is that what you're going to do? Um, I'm going to go see. Oh, you're going to go map it? Yeah, just go map it quick. Okay. So he's just taking off the drone again here at this field. I went out with my personal drone yesterday to see which areas of the field we needed to spray, but I had no way of actually mapping them. I and mean, obviously you can't see them from the road. You might be able to see the one way back there, but he's gonna map them here on the controller. Easy. Easy. <laughs> now, we'll, uh, now that they're mapped. Yeah, well, I just gotta draw the map around it. Just add points. points. That'll get uploaded from the controller to the drone so that knows where it needs to go. Yep, and with the T50 and updated firmware on T40, you can actually set it to do this one and then the next one and the next one without even touching anything. Right. So that's, that's nice a big place. advantage. So those yellow lines there that it's making, that's the path. Those are the paths take. it'll yep. take, yep. Waypoint added. And then I, when I'm doing smaller stuff, I, uh, Set it to the boundary too, just to ensure coverage. Yeah. And then save, and then go do the next, the next one. one. So does this all get uploaded like to the computer or something? So that yeah. you can do your billing or? Yep, so there's an app I can show you quick. It's DJI Smart Farm. And like today I've sprayed two acres. So it already oh, so uploaded, it, you. it uploaded the field oh, we okay. did earlier. That's nice. Yep, so it shows all my spray lines. Um, all your spray records, yep. everything, application rates. Yep. yep. It doesn't keep track of wind speed or anything like that, so I have some paperwork in the that pickup that I do that. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Just for, for insurance and state. Yeah, regulations. Yep. Those are the three sections we got mapped. Yep. So how many acres it is? Uh, So total for all of them is 5.2 acres. 5.2 acres. Yep. And is that going to tell us how many? 16 we need to we need well, to put in. I'll get there, but so Current it'll be 16.03 gallons. Okay, so we're gonna need two tanks yep. and probably two batteries. Yep, okay. yeah, for sure. All right, we got it all loaded up, the spray, the sprayer's up there. Obviously, I already have my drone license since I use my personal drone to take pictures. So, Bob, you gonna let me do it? Yeah, have at it. I'm gonna do the honors here. Oh, not that oh, one. Not wrong one. one. We'll cancel that. R3. R3. And then slide. slide. Here, I'll even hold it. <laughs> Here we go. Doing it all. And now I'll give it back. <laughs> Like it's super windy out, I can adjust my speed, 
droplet sizes, that's stuff a, like you that. You can all adjust that on the fly. Oh, on yep. the fly? That's slick. My rate, if I didn't mix enough or mix too much, I can go up or whatever. As we're finishing this field and the fill-in spots, I'm running my drone, getting some time lapse and footage of Bob's drone that's brand. Kind of cool to see two young guys running two drones out in the middle of nowhere. We're now at the last field we're gonna have sprayed with the drone. Honestly, the corn here where I'm standing doesn't look so bad, but once we get the drone up, I'll show you guys. There's quite a few acres here that we're gonna get sprayed with weed control. The setup time's like three minutes max, just folds out the propeller, sticks in a new battery, gets it set up. Now, are you gonna trust me to map one of these ground out spots in this field? You or? wanna try to? I do kinda wanna try All right. to. It's bad. No, it's like find your little one, just yeah. not as touchy. It might be easier. Thankfully, the power lines are on the other side. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Came out to one of the flooded spots of the fields to show you. Clearly, the weeds are thriving in these spots where the corn is dead because of our heavy rains this spring. But thankfully, technology's evolved to the point it is today. With spray drones, we're able to spray these weeds, and here comes a drone now to do just that. I'm thinking maybe I didn't do the best job on mapping the outside edge of everything that I wanted sprayed because it looked like Bob maybe had to take controls of the drone, which is off doing another drowned out hole now to touch up some of the spots that I didn't map right, but we'll have to ask him when we get back to the trailer. Pretty safe to say this weed patch is a lot worse than the last one. There's the drone, applying some more chemical. We're getting her done. Here's a water hemp plant that just got sprayed with the drone. You can see them at the top of the plant. Bunch of spray droplets. Now if we move down lower, just as many spray droplets on the lower canopy of the weed. That's one thing I like to see with the drone, knowing it has those propellers and how much air force it sends with them. It's definitely getting the spray all the way through to the bottom of the weeds, which is good in situations like this when our weeds are as big as they are. When you sprayed those ones that I mapped, did you have to manually do some? Oh, so that second one I that could you tell because I was like, the it first seems one like... I didn't. The second one I did. Yeah. I changed the map when I landed a little bit. Oh, because I was like, yeah, it seems like it's stopping going to. Oh, no, when it's doing the oh, borders, that's just what that's it does. Just what it oh, does. Okay. Yeah, to follow. Yeah, I wasn't lines. sure. Yeah. <laughs> No, that was just the way it does it. Well, we're all done spraying so far today. Maybe did, how many acres do you think, Bob? Probably 20, I 20 would guess. Acres. Yep. yep, got all the weeds knocked down. Hopefully that lasts us till harvest. If you want to learn more about Bob and his drone application business, check them out on Facebook, Midwest Drone Applications. Yep, yep, I also sell DJI Agris lineup. So. Right, so just like the drone we use today, which one thing I know I'm always interested to hear about, how much does stuff like this cost? How much did we spend a day on having all of our weeds knocked down? Can you give us yeah. kind of an estimate? So for applications, 12 to 14 an acre, but the drone itself will run you about 30,000 if you want to buy it and start your own business. So yep. it's not too bad and you don't, you don't need a fancy trailer or anything, I'll say that. Yeah, and I know just spending the day with Bob, I was kind of talking to him, he's got an old what did you call it, Ag Agris or uh, DJI? So, uh, DJI T40. T40 yeah. that he has that I'm maybe interested in starting to do some for spraying just of our own acres, kind of like what we did today as well as fungicide stuff. But very interesting. If you have any questions, anything, throw those down below in the comments. But that's all I got for today's video of High Tech Farmer. Thanks so much everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.